Hey guys and welcome to Forza Horizon 3. So we have got this beast out to play today. It is the Halo Warthog. You can only get it by playing uh, basically the newer Halo games or if you go to the auction house and want to pay for who the nose for it. That I did. <laughs> the uh, took me two to three days after the game was released to get this, but I got it, eventually. And it is a beast. It is an absolute tank off-road. And, in some cases, on-road as well. So today we are going to be doing a couple of championships, and... They are, there's one over here, and there's one here. Same championship, should I say, but we're going to be doing both races. Uh, the Robin Reliant, or the uh, Supervan, sorry. Okay, that thing sounds cool. Is that the original Fit 500? Hmm. Yards. Air cooled, I believe they were. But this thing is just a, as you can see, an absolute tank. Ha supposedly has a hydrogen fuel cell engine, but it sounds like a V8 twin turbo. I don't, I, 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 don't, I don't know. It's just an absolute tank. That's all I can say. I have been wheeling and dealing these in the forum quite exen extensively. Not forum, what am I on about the auction house? So if you guys have Forza and you have been after buying one, a lot of time you may see my name up in there. I've been trying to buy them up and uh, basically selling them. Um, I'm getting really into the auction house, it's where I spend a lot of my time early hours of the morning basically. And there is certain times where these things just go for ridiculous prices that I'm not paying because I won't make any profit. Although I'm not going to lie, I have been caught out a couple of times and have hit the buy it now price when I'm quickly trying to get the bid in and uh, made pretty much all my profit down the toilet last night. And it was sitting pretty. It really was. So this is a, basically a championship for any vehicle over two tons. So all of these are over two tons. There's no doubt that is. So yeah, e even the Tesla is two ton. But we're going to use the Warthog throughout the whole thing. It's just unique. It's not even a real vehicle, but heck, who cares? So I did a live stream of this uh, yesterday, no, Wednesday. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, at this moment in time, I haven't got anything for Friday, for Forestry Friday. Um, whether I will or not is another question. That being said, I will be obviously live streaming tonight at 7pm, so... Bear that one in mind. There may not be a Forestry Friday. I will... Uh, work on getting it going, or we may get something thrown together during the stream and do a bit of forestry and that maybe, and set them up. There we go, Whoa. So this is a uh, very tight course, this. So one that this thing should actually be pretty darn good on, because it is actually a walk in the lead. That's a Tesla there. Interesting vehicle then, no doubt about it. Alright, I'm going to have to rewind so I can get around the checkpoint. May have been close enough sometimes. Just getting close but the, to the opposite side. Ah, screw that line up again. Four minutes in and I'm screwing up. So I'm really glad a lot of you folks are enjoying these. It's a awesome game. And the update that came out recently for it, I've been getting amazing FPS, as you guys can see up in the top corner. The one downside is if I run this through my editor, or software I use to render my videos, Adobe Premiere, because it, I think it's in MP4, the quality just doesn't seem that good after rendering it. So I'm going to tweak this one uh, later tonight Wee on uh, bitrate and see if I can match it up to the bitrate it already is. Oh wow. 
This has actually been a really clean race from me. It's unusual. But for the foreseeable future, I think I am going to be doing these type of videos in the mornings for you guys. And then have the normal farm some stuff in the afternoon. Should have been doing it from the get-go, but I didn't know how to record and took some figuring out, like I said. That may be the screenshot back there. Or the uh, thumbnail. Of course, the thumbnails and all, all that stuff, unlike farm sim, I will do... I always do after. Let me find a... Oh, I turned. I turned. I shouldn't have turned. I find a nice little spot to take the thumbnail. So this may have to be a two-parter, because someone's just gone into the bathroom downstairs, so you're going to hear that background noise. And there we have it. First place. And ten grand, nice. Nine thousand, not bad. Oh, do we get do we get the horizon car? Now hopefully you guys are going to be able to hear me over this. No we don't, 30 grand, doubles to 60. And after the toilet's done flushing, we'll be back to get to the next one. And it is absolutely hissing down the Oh man, oh man, oh man, it is really coming down here. So the cool thing about this is, now, you see down in the bottom, it will say, 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 down in the bottom left hand corner. Now if I go, Anna, set route to nearest, race. Okay, setting your route to the nearest race. How Turn cool is that? <laughs> when it is safe to do so. Now this is something I don't know if it will work. Anna. Cancel route. Now that would have been a cool one if they added in. Okay, the one that we want to go to. What's that? What is that blue dot? What's that blue dot? Oh, did these clowns join my lobby? Or is that where they are? Why is it showing me... Okay, these are a couple of my friends. <laughs> Why is it... I, uh, let, let's... Go and see if they're actually there. They shouldn't be. As far as I'm aware, this is offline. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Now who they are, one of them is my girlfriend, Jess's cousin. And the other one is his friend. They literally live up the road from each other. In 400 yards, turn right. Now of course they obviously both have fours and we've been playing online a lot. And I think it's just showing me where they are in their respective parties. In 400 yards, turn sharp left. That is kind of funny. Yeah, they're not there. Now I know why Joey was here. He'll be drifting these roads. That's too funny. Hmm. 
<laughs> Alright, let's actually get racing. That's weird to show me them. Probably because they're in their own parties. Uh, okay, go over here. Turn around when it is safe to do so. We're gonna hit into that tree. There we go. Now try and keep most of this off-road as it's more interesting. So Simon, is this what the uh there are trees in this. Some of them you can hear, some of them you can't. So Simon, the tree the trees no. The uh the outback. Mind your home as well. And I never did see a comment whether you did say or not if uh, I'm guessing you are from Australia or got lots of family there or something. Get out of my way, fool. This is the ultimate doom buggy. It truly is. Over the runway. Where we're going on, we don't need no GPS. I just wanted the waypoint marker, basically. This thing's not particularly fast. As you guys can see, it's pretty much topping out at this point. But it's very capable, and it can go as quick on road as it can off. When you're not doing stupid stuff like that. Right now we're actually getting on the road. Make her happy, I guess. Over the train correct. Turn left. In 200 yards, turn right. Turn right. And we are here. You have arrived at your destination. You have arrived at your destination. So this is the last race. There was three of them. And uh, I did one last night. And I thought, hmm, this week you'd want to show kind of videos off. And it was kind of late at night when I started doing that, so I wasn't going to record. It was actually really late at night, not going to lie. That must be the dodge ram. Yep. Tempted to get that. Nah, that's probably going to be the spot for the... Uh, thumbnail. Oh, that hurt. Three laps. Is there any off road stuff or is it all on road? If it's all on road, it may be interesting. Oh, there we go. It's kind of why I didn't want a car. Even though some of the vehicles do weigh two ton, normal cars. This area, it's, it's off road stuff. It really is. This isn't a clean race at all. Ah, uh, the old Ford Raptor. That new Ford Raptor, I think I've shown you guys, has like 10 gears. It's cool they've modelled it in game, but. Jeez, you barely get into 6th gear in that thing, let alone 10th. Oh, I guess it's just for fuel, fuel economy, presumably. Having that many gears. Oh, this would be a cool thumbnail right now. Three abreast almost, and bam. Oh wow, he dropped back a lot. Surprised I haven't got a flat tire yet too. Lights on this thing are funny looking. I was screwed around with the settings on this today. I'm tuning it a bit in the differentials. Don't know if that's made any difference, really. It may well have, to be honest, because as soon as I let off, it does turn and, for whatever reason, stock, it was set up where even sort of de decelerating the rear diff was pretty much locked. That I personally, ah, turning, especially racing, you want it as soon as you let off to unlock, I guess is how that works. Of all the years of playing Forza, I forget or I'm not really too sure on the, that aspect of it. Alright, let's do a bit cockpit for this lap. 
So me may want it. Love that turbo sound. Repair crew's already been out to repair those signs. That's good. Won't get lost on the way back. And as we're coming up to the line, we'll go on the outside view. We're just leaving them in our dust. Wow. That's actually insane. I've got one heck of a lead. Are they even showing up on the radar anymore? Oh, I want to see that lap time. That must have been a good one. Yeah, wow. It's quite a few seconds ahead. Jeez, 10 seconds behind almost. Cool. And that is the Heavy Hitters Championship complete. I'll have to bear that one in mind what the championship was called. 14k, not bad, not bad. We're over a million again. Nice. Spend that all on Warthogs tonight. Possible. Oh, almost at 116. Lower level 116, currently at 115. And that will conclude the video. I'm not sure how long this one is. If there's any more you guys want to see type of videos in this, um, in Forza, please let me know. Other than the races, I'm not too sure what you guys do want to see. Can we actually crawl up these rocks? Well, this seems a suitable spot to end the video. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you, what you guys do want to see in these series. Uh, please bear in mind I am going to be live streaming Farming Simulator tonight at 7pm. Hope to see you guys there and catch you later.